the isolated bladder and the prostate, with the urethra beginning here at the internal urethral meatus and running down through the prostate. We've also seen the bladder and prostate from the side, with the urethra emerging below the prostate, passing through the pelvic diaphragm and perineal membrane and into the bulb of the penis. To see more of the urethra, we'll look at an isolated specimen of the bladder, prostate and penis that will divide in the midline. Here's the urethra. It's described as having four parts. The prostatic urethra that runs through the prostate, the short membranous urethra that passes through the perineal membrane, the curving bulbar urethra in the bulb of the penis, and the penile urethra. The membranous urethra is surrounded by a sleeve of striated muscle, the external urethral sphincter, which exerts voluntary control on the passage of urine. The penile urethra passes along the corpus spongiosum and through the glands, ending at the external urethral meatus.